Hey there, welcome back to Gear Into Adventure. On today's video, we're gonna do a little bit of plastic dipping, and here's why. Next week, I'm actually putting this track on auto show. It's gonna be on display. And I've been riding with this plastic dip coat uh, for about half a year now, or maybe more. And it got stained, like I'm doing off-road and all that. So I had about eight coats on this done initially. It took me pretty much a whole day because you have to wait after each coat. And uh, now it's all stained. You can't remove this. So here I'll show you some of the stain marks. Right there, right there, and here, and there, and big one here, and it's all over the place, especially on the bottom right here, and there, and this, it's unwashable at this point. And this is actually, I did, I did a good job yesterday of trying to scrub this out at, um, with high pressure and all that, but, uh, it, and it's looking much better than it used to be on my previous attempts throughout uh, past months, but uh, it still needs a fresh coat at this point. So here are some of the things you'll need for the job and you may come up with something else. And actually, if you have a better idea for these things, because it seems like I'll be redoing plastic dip every year at least, then uh, leave a comment. So this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a ton of uh, newspapers right here. Some of the painter's tape. I had a blue one somewhere, but I, I can't find it. Anyway, you need a couple of these. And of course, the plastic dip. This is, can I have? I think I still have a little bit left from before. This is a new one I got. And this time I also got bubble wrap. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it or not. I just wasn't sure if I can acquire some of these guys. All right, let's deploy for the job. I actually got lots of cardboard here. So what you want to do is uh, isolate everything around your grill or whatever part you're doing. If you can take it off, do it. In my case, I can't. This uh, full grill bumper prevents me from being able to take the grill out and just spray it around. So more complicated case and uh, you could have similar situation. Maybe you're doing a side of a car or something like that. You need to tape out everything else. If you're a froder, same situation as me, you can take the full grill bumper off. Obviously, you need to insulate this area too, so when you spray it doesn't go into everywhere here. Isolating this grill design here, this silver part, that's the trickiest. Uh, and also so you don't get into this like black plastic, that's what's gonna take the time, not putting all everything around here. This is taking forever. I think I need a beer break. I'm gonna go grab one. Silly me, I forgot that I have beers in this fridge. Uh, it's been about two months since I've been back from Baja and uh, I went home, I grabbed beer and came back just now. I'm like, oh, what's in the fridge? How about I plug it? And actually I do have, I do have like uh, five, six beers in here, which is pretty cool. Well, actually, this is not even from Baja, this is local, so I think it's when I did winter camping a month ago or something at Hot Springs, that's when I got this. And it's cold, so I don't need to get more beers from home, it's right here. But too much slacking, so I need to get back to work.
Uh, it's definitely one of those very annoying jobs, but you gotta do it. It's just, I wish I could <laughs> easily take the bumper off, because then you just take the grill off. Well, mask it still, but uh, you don't have to be as accurate. Just spray it, whatever. It's e it would be easy if it wasn't for this. Oh well. <sighs> okay, I'm done wrapping this thing, so time to spray. So what you want to do is initially uh, shake these guys for like about a minute. And as you spray gently, like really you, you need to not stay uh, in the same spot. Otherwise you're going to start uh, having bubbles and so on. And that's kind of my issue I had initially on the first few coats in previous time. Spray gently, whatever, it doesn't have to be thick layer and let it dry for about I don't know, 20 minutes, you know, come back, do another kind of coat, you know, make sure you get all the angles, whatever, up and down, sideways. If it feels like it's not cloudy kind of spray and it starts to throw chunks, whatever, just shake that stuff. All right, let's do a first little spraying session. Okay, that's, that's what you don't want it threw in chunks. But thankfully I did it on um, not the visible area. And you don't wanna do it too close like this, no. It has to be about this distance. Oh, I forgot to cover the RAM lo logo. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> And you know, you don't have to be extremely precise. Uh, whatever extra beads uh, of plastic dip that you're gonna get on the area you don't want, you can later kind of trim it off. Um, again, it's not paint, it's plastic. The whole point of plastic dip is so you can, like if I wanted to right now, I could just take this whole thing. You know, it would take a little bit of time, but I could completely return it to my uh, chrome state, uh, just kind of peel it off so it's okay if you missed a few spots here and there you can clean them later all right let's do the first batch now this is bad this is too bubbly so let's try let's try the new one Something's not working out. Both cans don't want to spray. I wonder if it's uh, temperature related. It's kind of cold. Like, it's not kind of, it is cold. And no matter how much I shake, like a twisty cap, sprays a little bit and then dies. That's it, let's see. Yeah, it just doesn't want to go. And now somehow it's going. I have no idea, it, it's gotta be temperature related. That's a fail, I definitely should have covered bumper more, but the good thing is it's very exposed area right here. I'll just rub it off and it's gonna come off. It's okay, it's getting into nukes and crannies, that's the tough part. I feel like in general I'm doing a way worse job than I did first time, but I did it in the summer. Right now it's cold, so it's like some shaking helps, but it just keeps resetting. All right, check out this fresh coat right here. All right, so this first coat looks very nice, very white. That's cool. Loving it, like really. It's barely anything, but it already looks so much whiter. I, I forgot how much white it can actually look like. Uh, it's getting very cold right now. It's pretty much dark, 7 p.m. So I need to shake the crap out of the skin, put a second coat on. I still need to finish uh, uh, inside of a cab, uh, some cleanup, some still mud left from my last week's uh, shenanigans. And I think while I do that, it will dry out. And the third coat, we should have enough for a third coat. And third coat, I'll just at this point move the car closer to the wall, 
close everything and go home and let it dry overnight because I'm like, I want to get to the warm place at this point. It's getting really cold. No matter how much I shake this, it doesn't want to do anything at this point. Uh, looks like this task is really for uh, summer time. This wasn't the case when I was doing it first time. I didn't have any of these kind of issues. All right, I think change of plan. I'll bring this canister home. I'll put it near my fireplace. All right, back at it. So it's about 10.30 p.m. I'm back. This thing is very, well, it's not very warm, but it, it's warm, it's not cold. So let's see if about uh, two hours being at home, that made a difference. Definitely, what a difference, what a difference. Because even the spray, how tiny the particles are, I can see right away the difference compared to before. So, so don't do this in the winter or in spring if you're living in a cold climate. Otherwise, I guess, take it inside, make sure it's warm and use it right away. And once you're done your pass, take it back home. But in summertime, no problem. I'm leaning towards the can bean kind of faulty or something. This is BS, shouldn't be like this. So this is second day. I came out last night at 1 a.m. again in hopes to use that previous can. And uh, no, I just wouldn't spray anymore. There's maybe like this much left at this point, uh, just feeling it, but. So today I got another plastic dip can, fresh one. All right, let's do this. Come on, work. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Huge difference. Second can of plastic. So maybe that can was definitely a little faulty. So this coat that I just did is kind of heavy. So I think I will need to wait for sure half an hour and then I'll come back, do it again. Actually, I got other stuff to do while waiting for this thing to dry. I'm actually detailing all inside my lever with this. Actually, I still got Plenty of stuff to do to prepare my truck for auto show. These fins here is from my collapsed roof rack. And I'm gonna take them down. I, for the show, I kind of need it regardless. In two months when my roof here will be refabricated with holes drilled and so on, I need all this stuff gone anyway. All right, one more coat. Let's do this. Definitely looking nice and white and fresh. So at this point, I'm pretty much ready to take the wrap off. It's as decent as it can be. There is a little bit of this going on, but I had it from before already. Well, it's time to start taking down this and let's see what the result.
So this concludes this uh, Plasti Deep and Show How. If you liked this video, uh, hit the like button, subscribe. Don't forget to check this bell notification button. And see you in next episode.